caught wife cheating day before anniversary. D-Day was 10 days ago on 1 slash 29, and I'll never forget that day since it's also our anniversary the next day. I've been reading a lot of stuff on this sub since then. It's been reassuring to know I'm not alone. Now, I'm thinking that writing about what occurred will assist me. It'll be lengthy since I believe that details matter, and I've been replaying it in my thoughts every day. This is our tale. I've been married to my wife for 26 years, and we've been together for 29 years. I'm 51M, and she's 49F, two adult children, 24s and 22D. We met in college, dated, fell in love, married, and had what I thought was a wonderful marriage. We did a lot of things together, chatted all the time, communicated about difficult things, both of us had good jobs that we both supported each other along the way, amazing love life maybe not as often as when we were younger, but just as passionately. She works in IT, and I run a small landscaping firm with 75 workers that I established after college. She's been working from home a lot since COVID, and we've been discussing my easing out of the day-to-day -day operations and her becoming part-time so we can spend more time together and travel now that the kids are settled. Looking back, I see no warning signs that I've read about, no strange messaging, no phone guarding, no outfit changes, no peculiar conduct, and no evenings out with co-workers. When she did go out, it was with friends and family, and I was constantly told the following day how I should have gone, but I wanted her to go out without me, and I like being alone in my store doing things. She was usually the first one home. To say I was taken aback would be an understatement. D-Day I had planned a weekend at a beautiful bed and breakfast operated by some friends the week before, our state is open. That weekend was a winter celebration. I leave work early to surprise her and tell her she has to pack a suitcase because we're going away for our anniversary. When I bring my pickup into the driveway, I see a weird automobile there. I didn't know why I knew right immediately, but I did. I'm hoping and praying that I'm mistaken but my instinct tells me that I'm not. I sat there for a bit, unsure what to do. Leave and speak to her later, leave and pretend I didn't see anything. I'm trembling so much that I can't see properly. When I have to do something unpleasant at work, I usually remind myself, man up, get this over with. Suddenly, the shaking stops and I feel quite peaceful, though I'm not sure how since I'm a disaster on the inside. I sneak in via the back door, and instead of leaping on me, my black lab is resting there with a mournful look as if he knows. I adore that puppy. He remains as I softly ascend the stairs. I can hear what's going on in our bedroom when I walk upstairs. When I open the door, I notice her boss on top of my wife. For a split second, I stand there and exclaim surprise. The that follow would be amusing if it weren't so painful. He tries to get out of bed but gets caught up in the covers. My wife is shouting OMG, 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 OMG and attempting to cover up but is unable to do so since he is still twisted up. He eventually gets out and begins hunting for his clothing, only to discover that they are on the opposite side of the bed. This just struck me right in the middle of where mine used to end up. I'm not sure why, but I beat him to them and grab them. My wife is weeping and saying, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry I go up to the door and stand there, and he's nude next to the bed. I lift the huge easy chair from the corner and drag it to the door, where I sit. He requests for his clothing and I refuse, tossing him my wife's robe from the back door. He begins walking towards me. Even though I'm 51 years old, I'm in terrific condition. 6'3", 240 pounds. Years of working out at the gym and gardening have contributed to this. If you come any closer to me, it's not going to end good for either of us, I say. Why don't you just sit down because you'll be in the hospital and I'll be in prison. He sits down while his wife into the pillow. After an awkward moment, he says, what now? My response is that I have no notion. Wife is still weeping, but she sits up. Finally, I take out my phone and inform them that they will tell me everything as I record it. They both gaze at one other and my wife replies, What do you mean everything? Everything, how it began, how long this has been going on, when, where, hotels, meals, etc., everything. My wife claims that this is the only time I shout BS. 
you'd never be at ease enough to bring him to our bed if this hadn't been going on for a while. If you lie to me again, I'm going to walk out the door and get a divorce lawyer. She begins to weep once again. So during the following 10-15 minutes, everything pours out, which has been going on for over nine months. It started with him flirting with her and so on till he invited her to lunch and she agreed. They arrived at a hotel after a few beers. That night, she returned home to me as if nothing had occurred. She says it was killing her and she wanted to tell me but couldn't. I'll say it again, if it was killing you, it wouldn't have been so simple to keep going. They even went to a week-long business conference that I used to accompany her to. She informed me that the company's policy had changed and that wives were no longer permitted to attend. I put my phone aside and there was even more stillness. Then an idea comes to me. I search his clothing for his phone and ask him for the password. He really hands it to me, so I begin searching through his phone. I see some images of a lady I believe is his wife and inquire about her name. Carol. She's lovely, but not as lovely as my Ashley, I tell him. More pictures of children, learning that he has three, and ultimately a family photo of all of them. A lovely family, why did you throw it all away for a tumble with my wife? I exclaim as I hang up the phone. His response, what do you mean throw it all away? Me, do you really believe Carol won't find out? How is she going to find out? He wondered. I'm going to call her right now, I said. He gets to his feet and exclaims, no, you can't. Please don't do this to him, my wife cries, I blew it. I cannot do this to him. You've wrecked me, our family, our friends, our future, and crushed my heart, and you're concerned about him, I'm trembling again, trying not to weep in front of her, but I can't keep it together any longer. I slump back in my chair and begin weeping. She attempts to approach me, but I tell her to keep the hell away from me. After a bit, I calm myself and return my attention to his phone. Please don't, I implore you, he adds again. I swear to God, I'll tell her. That's correct, I say. He's begging with me not to as I look up her phone number and realize that FaceTime would be even better. Hi, Sweet. Looks astonished and asks, Who are you? Is my hubby okay? He is for the time being, but he will not be in a minute. I switch the TV to reveal him in my wife's robe standing there. I suppose you know him, I say. The room he's in is my bedroom, and the flowery robe he's wearing belongs to this lady. Swinging the phone to catch my wife attempting to pull the blankets over her head, but it's too late. That's my wife, and I arrived home early today to discover them having. I honestly feel sad for her and remorse for how I handled the situation. She begins to weep, and he goes through the honey, I'm so sorry, I can explain, it was only one time routine. I advise her not to trust a word of what has been going on for over nine months and that I have spent the previous 15 minutes documenting all the facts they were ready to reveal. I tell her I'll text her my phone number and she should provide me her email address and I'll send her the video. I hand him the phone and hear her tell him that when he comes home, there will be a suitcase packed outside and that if he attempts to enter the house, she will contact the police and hang up. I throw him his clothing and he walks away after he's closed. It's just me and my wife now. She looks at me and begins to weep, saying she is so sorry and never intended to harm me and asking if I can forgive her since it didn't mean anything. All the usual BS from cheats. I look at her and urge her to collect her belongings and get the hell out of my home. I walk downstairs to get a drink. When she gets downstairs, I'm sitting on the sofa. She moves towards me and I tell her to halt. She asks if we can speak about it, and I tell her that maybe, just maybe, but not just now. I tell her it's going to be difficult not to seek for a divorced lawyer, and she bursts into tears again. When she stares at me, I know she's about to say, I love you. Don't you dare say that right now because I don't think I'll ever believe. It again, I reply. She again as she turns and goes out the door. When I see her weeping as she walks out the door, my whole existence departing, I collapse and hysterically on the floor. I'm not sure how long it takes, but I eventually sit down, still weeping, and contact my best buddy. I attempt to talk, but I find myself weeping again and unable to get the words out. He inquires as to what is wrong, but I am unable to respond. He asks if I'm at home, and I kind of mumble yes, 
and he says he'll be right there. He arrives at my place 30 minutes later, and I'm still weeping. I hand him my phone with the video playing, and he begins to watch. I can't stand hearing that anymore, so I'm going to buy us each a drink. He walks into the kitchen, grabs my drink, and drops both of them, saying, this isn't going to help you. Tells me I can't remain here alone tonight, and goes upstairs to prepare a suitcase. When I go downstairs, he has my lab on a leash, and we walk to his home. That was ten days ago, and I'm still feeling like a jerk. I apologize for the length of this. Stay tuned for the update.